Hi survivors, it's me Preppers Ann reporting to you. Hope you guys are doing well because what's going on in America is not. Is it me y'all or does it seem like literally <laughs> everywhere you go it seems like everything is like a million dollars. I swear, I mean, the prices of everything, is it's not even funny but I'm laughing to keep from crying because it's like everything costs so much money. I, um, I travel a lot for my businesses, but now I'm like, all right, I can do without that. I can do without that. I can do without going here and going there. Um, from plane tickets, bus tickets, Amtrak, everything is crazy. Everybody already know about the food prices. It's just unbelievable. I went in to buy a bottle of was it mayonnaise for a family member it was like eight or nine dollars i mean like the prices of everything is just crazy and then the bills like i paid a light bill for um another family member who helps with my elderly mother uh they have a one bedroom it's just one bedroom and they're hardly there because they work with me and we're always here now working right it was like over two hundred dollars barely even there and the light bill was two hundred dollars and i'm like what in the world is going on and all they could talk about is banning tiktok and we have like real life issues right now it's like people I talk to everybody's talking about how their money is depleting like they go to crying and people having a lot of mental issues and anxiety because of money and that's not fair and that's not how we should have to live especially when you're working so hard people are tired and exhausted of working because it's like as soon as you get your money or before you get your money it's really gone it's just not fair and it's like no who's doing something about it they don't care anything about us they don't care anything about the citizens here in this country and it is just unbelievable Believable. And you better not even try to eat out anywhere. You might as well buy some groceries. That might last you for two or three days. You'll come out better than buying a meal that you're going to eat just for that one time. And then you might want to eat again later. You know, something at your house that you already bought because that one meal at a restaurant. I went to, uh, what's that? What's the, what's the name of the restaurant? I like the gumbo there. And the gumbo used to get like this big, big, because I love soup. I love broth and I love soup, right? So it used to be like a big bowl of gumbo. You used to get it for like, I think, $18, $17, $18, which is still kind of high. But now that gumbo is like $30. And then it was in like, in this, like $20 some dollars when you come out with taxes, like $30. And like a little small cup. I couldn't believe it. When they brought, this has been months ago because I don't eat out anymore. When they brought that little cup to me, I was like, man, I don't want that. I'm not going to give you guys all this money with this little small cup. So not only have they increased the price of it, but they have decreased the, uh, the, the quantity in it, the amount that they put in it. It's just, this stuff, this is, this stuff is insane. And something has to give. This has got to stop. There's no way that people feel like they have to work or they are working two and three jobs, uh, you know, just to make ends meet and then ends are still not meeting. It's terrible, y'all. We're going to have to stand for something. We're going to have to. Like, everybody's sitting here. we we just letting this all that happen. I, what's the solution? I don't know. But we need to start something somewhere soon. Because there's no way we, we should have to live like this. And we should have to continue to live like this. Y'all watch this world. Watch the weather. Smell your water. Boil and purify your water before you use it. And keep surviving. Purposeand.com.